In a soundless night where darkness devoured the whole town into its deepest abyss, a dim light kept one sleepless girl awake. The girl sighed in distress because she doesn't know what she wants to do with an illegal profession. Getting in the law school was a dream come true, but what next is to be done? Her head felt heavy as so her eyes before they shut close as her conscience slept away. are you? How did you get in here? Oh dear, don't be frightened. It's me, Barbie. Welcome to the world of legal profession Topia, land of liars and many more. I have heard anxiety in your heart and I am here to help. This is where you will learn about legal professions. Follow my lead. Here we are. Let me introduce you to Hanson Andrews Kurt. Come on in and let's find out what the lawyers in the law firms do. I think uh, as an external counsel, as opposed to the in-house counsel, we focus on different paths. For example, uh, if you are an in-house counsel, you have to be very focused on your corporate stuff and on your corporate business plan and strategies. But as an external counsel, we have to focus uh, uh, a bit more or even aggressively more wider. Personally, it takes like uh, two things to engage very deeply and efficiently, to be honest, in this kind of business. First is uh, you have to be accurate. So the other one is should be a speed or you have to be very responsive. But the challenge would be to learn a new thing very quickly. We set up the very foundation of business practice. For example, if you, if our client, if you, anyone would like to do an M&A, the mergers and acquisition stuff, and we have to lay out all the requirements, all the uh, negotiations and terms and conditions that they have agreed upon, we have to lay out and outline and detail everything in the documents. So further from that, so the uh, compliances, the, the judges who are involved or maybe get, get invited if the case happen, everybody else will have to be relying on that laid out document. So in terms of a contribution to the society, I think we would be the, the first frontier of uh, the very justice in, in business practice. What I like most is that we get to know people. And as an external counsel who deals in the policy level and operational level, I think uh, getting to know people at both levels are the very purpose of it because we get to know how the policy making works in terms of any or any corporate that we are uh, servicing to. And also the operational level who gives us a very different ideas and a very, very different points or problematic issues. So we get to know the CEO, we get to know the CFO, and we get to know the people who really work for that corporate or that company. So we, we know everything. As a law student, there is nothing that you can do better than studying law. So we focus on that. Know everything you need to. Know everything you should do. And do some more research. And think a bit more deliberately and deeply why you should study this, why the law says this, why the law requires this, and more particularly on law firm, I think you have to be energetic. We, for myself, I don't, I don't even have to seek my teammates or my colleague, my junior lawyers. I care that they participate in society. I care that they can work as a team player. I, I care very much that they can develop and use their legal skills efficiently at their level. Wow, lawyers are so interesting. The mutual trust between the lawyer and his client is amazing. Are there any other options within the legal profession? Of course, darling. Let me take you to Ajahn An, who is a mediator. Here we are. Good afternoon. Welcome to the mediation session.
First of all, uh, may I ask you how do I address you? Natasha. Natasha, and I'm Nasmina. So I'm going to basically explain you how the process works. So it's a voluntary process uh, that enables you to basically communicate. So I will be getting the process, but I'm not substituting myself to you. Okay. Are we ready? Wow, the mediator is so nice. It's so interesting to assist people in this field. Let's get to know her more. I'm Lorena. I'm talking as a mediator today. Mediation is a method of alternative dispute resolution. Uh, I found uh, mediation a very useful tool to solve disputes, especially when working as a lawyer, I saw the merits of it, as opposed to litigation. Formal training in a reputed uh, mediation arbitration center uh, and personal qualities that comes with mediation that you need to have. Impartiality, neutrality and it. I think uh, it helps the society and the parties to administer their dispute themselves uh, and come together to a solution in agreement, which is you know, a, a quite a peaceful and empowering process in society. I've seen litigation and then I saw mediation and I saw that mediation helps parties continue work together, continue their relationship together. Yeah, go to uh, conferences about mediation and arbitration, get a broader perspective on how to solve disputes. I will introduce you to the backbone of the success of all other legal professions, the law lecturer. I am assistant professor Dr. Minatha Sangsu. I am a lecturer at the Faculty of Law at Hongkong University. My job is to educate people and also I have to do research every year and text. And also, um, we have the duty for social or society around the university. And many times I have to like, uh, uh, consult the society on people around the university about legal problem. Uh, other legal profession have opportunity to practice law on a daily basis. On the other hand, my job is really concentrate to educate people that what the law is and how the law works. So it's all about knowledge and ethic and how can be a good lawyer and a good legal mind. I would like my students to have society responsibility in order to the foundation of society. The reward for my profession is the respect and trust from society. To be the law lecturer, you have to have the pattern in teaching and searching. The law lecturers are so smart. They are so passionate in teaching and doing their job. Oh no, my time is running out. It's time for me to go. I hope to see you again. Wait, Bobby, where are you? How am I supposed to go home? Uh.